It's a bridge compilation. Ugh, here comes Brad from my work. Wait, which one is he again? You know, that guy that says things and you can never tell if it's a compliment or insult? Well, well, well. Someone smells like muffin mix. Unintellectual property. Really dumb, but it's mine. Would a necromancer be able to reanimate food? Is there anything stopping a necromancer from making an army of cooked turkeys? Only one way to find out. Sorry for having great tits and correct opinions and everything, as if it's my fault. God. Translate. I'd like to think I'm transpunctual, thank you. See, this is what I mean. He's obviously a dad. No normal person could just make a joke like that. Are you suggesting I'm... Transparent? Dang, damn it, yes I am! 80% of the ocean has not yet been explored. There could be a Dollar General down there. New D&D campaign just dropped. Find the forbidden Dollar General. If you can't handle me at my worst, just remember that I handle me at my worst, and that makes me stronger than you! Oh my goodness, this makes me feel powerful. I haven't even thought of it like this. I'm gonna remove my nervous system so I won't be nervous anymore. Can't believe what a good idea this is. Why did no one else do this? Should someone tell them? He's got a sadness about him you only see in Catholic stained glass windows. Hmm. The cool thing about a spec rep is there's a loophole that every character is a spec until proven otherwise. Heck, maybe even after proven otherwise, depending on how proven it is, a spec is a spectrum. And I'm gonna squeeze everybody I can into it because the writer sure as heck won't do it for me. Would you like fries with that boiker? <laughs> Some fucking French fries? You know? The human eye has evolved to be able to detect more shades of green than any other color. And that's because there are so many fucking leaves. And also because we were preparing for Shrek's arrival. <clears throat> Some. Some. You know, I miss it when movies let you figure out shit on your own without excessive exposition. Like, for example, in Ocean's Eleven, they don't tell you that guys are gay. They just let you figure it out. Someone mentions my favorite character. Me, vibrating at frequency that shatters glass. Yeah, I love them normal amount. Don't call me out like this. Sorry, I thought your boyfriend was cute, so I had him undergo metamorphosis. Congratulations on your new girlfriend, by the way. <laughs> gender envy this, gender envy that. Sir, that man is a senior citizen. I don't plan on being 19 to 24 forever. Gender investment? Gender compounding interest. Gender dividends. Ah, gender retirement plan. Body Behold, the Virgin Islands Dwarf Gecko. It is one of the smallest terrestrial vertebrates. Blessed Gecko. He's got bones in there. Ugh, 80% of the ocean is unexplored by you guys. I've seen the whole thing. I'm scarred for life. It's psychological horror to you. To me, it's a rom-com. That's a fun way of looking at things like Freddy vs. Jason. Hey, bad news. I tucked your boyfriend in so warm and cozy he's snoring like a cartoon mouse. Yeah, it sounds like... <laughs> yeah, there's a little feather floating over his mouth, too. Sorry. I have three modes of reading. Don't read. Read a 500-page book in a day. And read only fan fiction until my eyeballs drop out of my skull from exhaustion. Hate it. Two arrows platonically married for financial reasons. Call that friends with tax benefits. Whenever I see a bunch of posts about one piece of media on my dash, I know one of my mutuals just got a new obsession. If you're reading this, I hope you realize this is about you, but also that I mean no harm. Simply noticing a pattern and putting barely any more thought into it beyond that. Seriously. Fuck being in a PMC more video. I want to be in an AMC more video where it's the most relaxing female voice ever. Unfortunately, AMC more is kind of already a thing that exists, and it's that it's this guy. This little black goopy friend right here? Yeah, that, that's him. But if you wanted a female voice to read this to you in a relaxing tone, all you need to do is just ask. <laughs> Writing prompt. They say you can sneak almost anywhere openly if you wear a safety vest and carry a ladder. A group of heroes trying to infiltrate the Demon King's castle end up using that trick. <sighs> You know, the key to getting over imposter syndrome is to know everyone else is an imposter too. Tell yourself you deserve a stake in the claim they're all running. Um, excuse me, but this is fucking brilliant. Did, did you just cure imposter syndrome with 
spite? You can cure a lot with spite. I accidentally submitted my English paper with the title, I pissed on the moon. It's too late to take it back. Whenever anyone compliments my name, I have to stop myself from saying, thanks, I chose it myself. What if you did though? Does anyone else occasionally come across blogs in your dash that you 100% do not remember following? Yes, what the fuck? One does not remember time itself, for it has become a part of everyday life. And yet you still startle when you see me on your dash like a stranger in the mist. Fool. Do the dead forget life? Did you forget whose follow you laid at my feet like an offering to a false god? It was yours. Do not feign ignorance. It was Star Wars smut. You okay, SpongeBob? I'm not fucking playing with you, you son of a bitch! Hey, Neil Gaiman, what's your opinion on spoons? They are much better than forks for drinking soup with. Thanks, Neil Gaiman. We drink boba tea to satisfy our ancient and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do fucking not. Ugh, it's always you murdered your husband for this fortune in his land, and you're a monster, and never your black silk morning gown looks nice, or was the poisoning fun? It looked like fun. God. Drink my concoction, boy. Drink my boy concoction. T testosterone And if you thought of something else, <laughs> you gotta like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules, dirty boy. Sometimes I forget there's straight people on here. There's what? Straight people are just old wives' tale made up to scare children! No, I swear, I've seen them myself! In the fog! Reject edgy rogues with dead parents. Embrace goofy, chaotic, neutral grease balls that slink around and steal things for fun. Their tragic backstory is just being a little shit. Have you or a horse you love been injured in a Plinko-related accident? You may be entitled to compensation. Call now, 1-888-435-6377. Now this is advertising. Okay, has anyone called that number? I did. It's the Elmer's Glue customer service line. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! See, spoiler about character death. Uh, okay, but maybe, maybe that will happen when I watch it. Maybe. Please. So someone just said they're really interested in history. How careful do you have to be? I just think history is interesting in general. I'm not interested in any specific part of it. This person is most likely safe. Never drop your guard, though. I'm interested in this specific subject or time period in history. The ancient Egypt, the golden age of piracy, the history of printing press. Still probably safe. Be on the lookout for certain risky historical subjects. You should know them when you see them. I'm really into WW2 history. This is a caution zone. There's plenty of valid reasons to be into WW2, but if they start talking about how Operation Sea Lion could have succeeded, it's time to abort. I'm specifically into Roman history, the Crusades, Prussian military history, and WW2. Danger! Do not talk about history with this person. In fact, do not talk to this person at all. You will regret it. You do not want to know what they think of the Treaty of Versailles and why Germany lost the First World War. I was really into ancient Greek mythology in middle school. This person is gay. Slash affectionate. Airplane crashed into a cemetery. Rescuers have already pulled 10,000 dead bodies from the wreckage and are still pulling out more. I'm so confused. Where will they bury the survivors? Well, I heard Twitter HQ has quite a lot of space nowadays. Okay, Jeff just hit us with the one-two hit combo. Interviewer. Mr. Wayne, have you heard about the popular internet jokes about you dating Batman? Yes, I have heard of them, but if I were going to date any superhero, it'd be Superman and not an overdramatic furry. Clark Kent suddenly there, breathless. M Mr. Wayne, could you elaborate on your desire to date Superman? Okay, but Batman calling himself an overdramatic furry is the exact kind of Bruce Wayne characterization directors have been too cowardly to do. Asian grass lizards are so silly. What do you need all that for? Whipping. Hey, call your homie a cutie patootie. Trust me. He needs it. God's greatest punishment was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth and no one with eyes big enough to see them all. God's greatest gift was putting one trillion cool rocks on Earth so that we may never run dry of the joy of seeing a cool rock. I've been such a fool. Guilty Gear Strive fans adore the new Twink DLC character, Sinkisk. Putting the word Twink up on the shelf. Yeah, Guilty Gear fans are just the opposite of Genshin Impact fans because they'll call a guy a twink for being the size of an SUV instead of an 18-wheeler. Why is that incredibly accurate? I plead oopsie-daisies, Your Honor.
I made a fucky wucky. Whatever doesn't kill you, you begin to like it. Um, wasabi doesn't kill me. I still don't like it. Imagine if instead of it being called a sip, it was called a suck. Can I have a suck of water? Imagine an expensive grave spending miles and miles, too many miles for you to traverse. Imagine a little mouse sleeping in his bed as a can of sardines and he wears a little hat. And what is his pillow and blanket? Just a regular pillow and blanket, but like, so small sized for meese. Now imagine, if you will, this mouse awakening, stirring, noticing no glass at his bedside table, throwing off his small me sized blanket, lighting a candle, and trudging dozily to his mouse kitchen for a suck of water. She dicked cockily downstairs. All right, that's it. You ruined it. It's over. Okay, we're done. We're done. Andy, end the video in the dumbest way possible. So I didn't really know how to end this. So I guess it's a good job that I happened to voice G in uh, the Cosmic Wonder series. So here we fucking go. Rawr. X3 Nozzles pounces on you. Uwu, you're so warm. Couldn't help but notice your powerful ones from across the floor. Nozzles and wuzzles your necky wecky tildy mutildy he. Unzips your tumbly wumbly. Oof, baby, it's so cringy. See me wag my whittle baby tail. And that's all I'm getting. I'm out. Hello, everyone. This is Snom. It has been two years since I was first in one of PM's videos. Truly, it is an honor. But enough of that. I'm here to say that I'm so happy to have been able to bring some smiles to your faces. And that if it hadn't been for PM, I might have never been able to help so many others. I hope that eventually I can help more. This is kind of getting along, so I'll leave you with this. You're amazing. You're capable. And I believe in you. Enjoy the video. Bye! Is that okay or too long? Should I change it some? No, this is perfect. Thank you. Me when my friends are around my family. Yeah, no swearing in my Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> Tumblr will always be a better website than Twitter, because you can only retweet a tweet once. Whereas on this website, if I really like a post, I can make my followers scroll past it 12 times in a row. I'm getting the same vibes as uh, Eniku, if that's how you say their name, when they have the Gohan corn shirt on their feet literally every time they see it. The brain is an organ. Mental illnesses are illnesses of that organ. Brain scan shows that there's a physical difference between a healthy brain and a sick brain. Telling someone, you're not really sick, it's all in your head, is like telling someone with asthma, it's not real, it's all in your lungs. The brain is an organ that can malfunction as much as any other organ. Please read this over and over and over and over. I don't know about anyone else, but I absolutely cannot write in a linear fashion. I have probably completed NaNoWriMo this year, but because I've been working on books four, five, and seven, while book one is still only one page long, I have nothing I can really show for it because it spoils things! Wow. It's not just me. Okay. Damn, girl, the power of love and friendship aren't working. Hmm. Time to kill someone or whatever. Elon Musk lands on Mars and steps out of his spaceship. It's a small step for men, but a giant leap for mankind says the ground control officer and cuts off all communications. Jeff, this is not a bad joke. Jeff, this is not a joke, it's a prophecy. I am convinced the only reason people work for SpaceX is to make this prophecy a reality. <sighs> like the charge, we blocked the cast! I can fix him, bitch! You're worse! Don't like it? Become God. Maybe I will. I am a blurbo apologist, but also they did every bad thing they did and I will get mad if you ignore that. Complexities. Please hate my favorite fictional character accurately, at least. Not a single recipe on Earth is honest about how long it takes to caramelize onions. Recipes shouldn't even estimate how long it'll take. It should just say, caramelize onions. God help you, you're now on onion time! <sighs> Men just don't get into a big cloud of dust and start punching and kicking each other with only their arms and legs briefly visible like they used to. Sag. Hey. I put Gay Loser into one of those AI image generator prompts, and the web page requested access to my laptop camera. <laughs> I don't even interpret UWU as a smiley. I just read it as, ooh -woo. Do you know how many times I had to redo this line because I wanted to say ooh -woo twice instead of UWU? You know, God fucked up making Komodo dragons super venomous, aggressive, and all around unsuitable for domestication. Those beefs should be in our home. If I had this thing in my lap, I think everything would be all right. I bet it would love being scratched on the head if it wasn't already so fond of chewing me and then poisoning me and smacking me hard with its horrible tail. 
That rail, I don't want to tell you this, but I don't think you're ready to own a Pokemon yet either, because I'm pretty sure they can all do the same thing. They all can learn Toxic. Just went to Wawa and all they had were burritos, so I got a fucking Wawa burrito because I'm starving. I'll reblog this with a rating from 1 to 10. 1 being nasty ass Wawa burrito and 10 being banger Wawa burrito. Unlikely. Three! I saw the three and presumed you were counting down to some major event in world history when I realized it was the rating of your Wawa burrito. No, but if I was counting down, it would be the seconds before I throw this nasty ass Wawa burrito into the garbage. I got cursed with the worst version of being a bookworm. <laughs> being a fanfic reader. Damn, man, I'm so hungry. So, uh, how hungry? You know, this is a difficult question for both of us, Humphrey. Oh no. Somebody got Humphrey! At 8.30 precisely, the frogs beyond the hills scream. I didn't mean to make it sound so ominous. I meant literally at 8.30 every day from spring to autumn. Frogs in the woods over yonder hills will yell in unison, usually for about 20 to 30 minutes. That really didn't make it less ominous. Have you taken a hot air balloon ride in the past week? No? Yes? Prefer not to answer. It's a sensitive issue. I invent a time machine to go back in time, specifically to eat the Mona Lisa and prevent NFTs from being invented. I also grab a few of those bluebirds from the Rio movie, and then go slap the nearest Catholic in the face with a sticky hand. Tumblr things. Goth girls and pink Barbie girls aren't enemies, you fools. They're girlfriends. Someone does something even slightly sexy, and my entire body becomes incredibly stiff like plywood while I make the noise spring door stoppers make. I actually don't remember how that sound goes. Andy, help me. Uh, shout out to whoever stole my Amazon package containing nothing but a single pair of shoelaces. <gasps> so sorry to hear about that, Mr. President. I want a book where the villain gets the girl. I am so sick of people being like, I wish there was a story where insert something that definitely already happened in Megamind. For real. Go watch it. What is it about this movie? What? Why? Why? Why didn't you watch it? Why didn't you watch it? Is it because he's blue? He got big head? This guy? Jonah Hill being a nice guy? What? 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 That, I'm, I'm, I'm actually mad. I'm actually mad. Go watch it. Bro, why can't people who aren't my friends know my characters from my work in progress? Ugh, shaking my head. It's unfair. Just know them. God! Behold, skeleton of cave bear and bear's cave Romania. I wonder why it's called that. You know, this sent me down a massive historical rabbit hole. But long story short... It's called Romania because there were once Romans there. Wow. Whenever I do something bad, I just say, But I had to! In a fancy James Bond voice, and I feel all better about myself. Perceive mugshot of two-year-old Francois Bertolan, arrested for eating a basket of pears. Yeah, who the fuck arrested a two-year-old? Well, a police officer was like, You're coming with me, son! Was it your vert? I bet it was your vert. So, actually, these photos were taken by the kid's uncle, Alphonse Bertillon, who is a French police officer and inventor of the mugshot. These photos were taken as a joke, probably when Bertillon was developing his mugshot technique and needed someone to practice on. No actual two-year-olds were arrested in the creation of these photos, guys. <laughs> like, 1880s nostalgia, with a pic from 1993. Yes, of course. You know, there was also an 1893. All right. <sighs> To people somehow misreading 1800s nostalgia as 1880s, to this person thinking a fucking daguerreotype was taken in the 1990s, this whole thread was a ride I didn't expect to take today. Get me the fuck off it! Hey, one second, I need to go hyperfixate on a niche game that feels like only 10 other people know about. Bye! Okay, I'm back. If you think about it, technically an airplane can only fly when there is human blood inside of it. These are the bold, disturbing takes I came to Tumblr for. Oh. Oh, gods! Almost everyone from Twitter is stopping by Tumblr. Say hello to the new inhabitants. We should give them a nice reception. Don't hold back. Sh should I be afraid? Get him, boys! You will never take me alive! Executive dysfunction is basically going, okay, one, two, three, go. And now. And we're going now for like three hours before the thing happens. If the singular form of mice is mouse, shouldn't the singular of lice be louse? 
Oh man, I have like the best news for you, my friend. G- gender rules? I open my hand, confused, and reveal a fistful of D and D dice. Which which one do I? Oh God, what's my gender modifier? Ah, you get it. Tumblr is a game, and I'm winning. I don't know. I think the reason you're winning is because, based on those little blue important sticker points, you're paying to win. I just found out my entire personality is a trauma response. <laughs> <laughs> When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's some more follow X. Roofs look unbelievably stupid typed out. Why can't we just say roofs? <laughs> clown language with clown plurals. If the plural of roof were roofs, the singular of grooves would have to be groof. Is that what you want? Point taken. I'll do anything to avoid groof. Break a leg. Vague, unclear whose leg you should break, encouraging somehow kind of violent. Break their legs. Clearer, other people's legs should be broken. More legs, more encouraging, logically. And very violent, which is a positive. I am made of the world's best mint chocolate chip ice cream. Until you realize I am freezer burnt. It's so cold inside my room. I wish my mom had a sense of humor. I pointed to batteries in a Bucky's and said, that was my snack, and she didn't laugh. The custody battle doesn't help either. Well, lizard kid, I'm here to help you out with your joke, all right? <clears throat> Hear me out on this. The next time you're at Bucky's, you look at the D-sized batteries and says, hey, ma. <laughs> hey, ma. <laughs> you want to win the custody batteries? <laughs> Soon may the wellerman come. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. I have questions. To get to the other side. Duh. Every time someone asks for a new feature on Tumblr, we delete an already present feature. <laughs> Eggman is literally richer than Elon Musk. And less problematic. And more attractive. Sexier as well. Got emeralds in a more ethical manner, too. Logical brain. You have chores to do. Do your chores. Stupid brain. Thinks about Gladys doing domestic things. Glad is sweeping a test chamber with just a normal broom and a massive robot claw. No one fucking helps me in this house. Whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend clearly has never met ibuprofen. Yes, I am aware he has committed atrocities, but have you considered that he's my special little guy? <laughs> he's my meow meow. Shout out to everyone who's just so tired, so, so exhausted, so very, very tired, so very fatigued, so sleepy and tired, so... Holy shit, is that iconic artist Shubabe? Body 